Morning Lions fans, welcome to the first Vero Coaches Wrap for Season 2016 and today we're looking at the NAB clash against the GWS Giants which was played down at Metricon on Sunday afternoon. A um, couple of things we'll look at. The first thing is what went well for the side. Well there was some good stuff to come out of the game on the weekend. Probably the first one for those who were down there who watched it on telly was our first quarter. We actually kicked one super goal, three goals, three behinds for 30 points which was a, a terrific start for the game. And as you can see in these edits, a lot of that was based off our ability to win the footy back in our forward half from turnovers, our players' ability to support and outnumber, and then running shots on goal like you see from Froggy Lester in the first one. Again, the second one, defensively we set up pretty well. Our ability to spoil the contest here with Cutler, who again follows up, our use of hands, our run and carry inside 50 and a shot on goal. So that were two of the early goals. Later in the quarter, uh, we had an opportunity here, Griffin's got the football, you can just see off the screen our numbers, defensively set up, Zork's great ability to force a contest, again our use of hands, our run from behind, which is when we're up and about and Robbo finishing off with a, a terrific shot on goal. And of course the last one was right on the sign, which you'll see right now, which came from a stoppage setup. we lose the stoppage, ability to force a contest by Paps, good handball to young Harris Andrews, who kicks a long nine-pointer. So that was our first quarter, which was really encouraging for us. As you can see, the players getting around young Harris, he was pretty happy with himself with a nine-pointer. Um, but that was a terrific start to the game for us. A couple of other good things that came out of the game was Daniel Rich. Obviously last year coming off a knee reconstruction. Uh, played a lot more in the midfield on the weekend, and we'll see him a lot more there. Uh, you can see him circled here at a stoppage. He had 28 possessions for the game, 16 of which were contested. He had 10 inside 50s and 10 score involvements. You can see the stoppage here. Uh, Richie was circled as you see. We get a quick kick forward. You can see Richie working from the stoppage really well. We win the contest there. Terrific work there by Basti in his first game. Richie running the lines and another nine pointer for us. So he's been training in the uh, midfield throughout the whole pre-season. Uh, he'll play probably 90% of his time through the midfield. Uh, we've got another example here of a centre bounce. Daniel was in there. He actually had uh, five centre bounce clearances for the game. Just his ability to read the play. And as we all know, he's got a beautiful kick on him. So his ability to work through the lines as a midfielder and get that ball into our forwards, as you see, he's going to be crucial for us in 2016. So we're expecting a, a very good year from Daniel this year through the mid midfield. Uh, the other one was probably Ryan Bastanak. It was his first game for the footy club. Um, you can see again in the right-hand corner there. He had 22 possessions, 10 contested, uh, 6 tackles and 4 clearances. He's an inside mid for us. He led to uh, obviously Beamsy and Rocky in there as well. You see he wins the contest there in a free kick, getting in harder and lower. Um, around stoppages, just his ability to play his role. As I said, when uh, Beamsy comes back and Rocky comes back, he's going to be uh, a very important cog in the side for us. Again here, winning the footy on the spread. He's good with his hands, getting it to Pierce Hanley and the ability for us to drive forward. Another one here, he uh, works front and centre of the contest. You'll see him coming in, number four. Beautiful hands. Gets the ball to Pierce Hanley, shot on goal. So this is what we brought him into the club for. Just his ability to win contested football, uh, his use of his hands and also his smartness around the ground where he can set the boys up. Again, he's a beautiful kick of the football and gets the ball going our way. So just a few examples there of Ryan and what he brings to the footy club. And, and again, that was a good area of improvement for us on the, uh, on the weekend. Unfortunately, with the good comes some bad or areas of improvement. Just a couple of things we need to work on as we head into the season proper and especially against our West Coast Eagles round one. Um, our defensive 50 stoppages, <coughs> obviously being in, in charge of the stoppages and, uh, and strategies. I uh, wasn't too impressed with uh, how we went on the weekend in this area of the ground. Uh, GWS scored three goals, three from forward 50 stoppages, which uh, isn't ideal for us, and it'll be one area which uh, over the next 10 days we'll be really focusing on and training on to make sure that uh, West Coast don't score quite easily from their forward 50 stoppages. You'll see here we lose the contest, ball goes in over the back, and a quick goal by GWS. And then the second one I'll show, <coughs> again, stoppage, you'll see a GWS guy on his own on the outer there. That's just far too easy, so... Um, Again, being in charge of stoppages, that's a non-negotiable. Uh, we'll definitely be working on that over the next two weeks and we won't be seeing that again moving forward, if, especially if I've got anything to do with it. And the last one was our contested footy. Um, GWS 169, Brisbane 149. We actually won the third quarter by plus two 
and we're basically even at quarter time, but our second quarter we were minus 16 uh, just through our hardness around the ground. Particularly at stoppage, we got beaten by about six at stoppage in the second quarter. So again, it's an area we know we've got to improve on. Um, we've done a lot of work over the pre-season. <coughs> Keeping in mind again that it was our first real hit out this season. We missed Mackay last week. We played a younger group uh, the week before, so it was our first real opportunity to get together as a side. The conditions weren't great down there. Uh, we lost by minus 20, but again, it's an area which we'll continue to work on over the next fortnight as we lead into round one. Look, the conditions down there weren't ideal on the weekend. Uh, before the game we had a, a big storm come through and the ground was pretty heavy. Um, we've done a lot of work in, in this area over the pre-season with our ball movement and our uh, efficiency by foot. Uh, a lot of our drills have been based around that. Again, without making any excuses, we uh, obviously in round one um, against Gold Coast down at Bourbon Gary, it was windy and all over the place, so we didn't get the ability to, to really get our foot skills going there. Week two we got washed out. And on the weekend, uh, again, it was quite wet, so we haven't really had the conditions to really, to really see how far we've come with our skill efficiency, but it is an area we're working on, uh, and is an area that we, uh, we need to get better at, and uh, hopefully when we get over to Perth, which I assume will be nice and warm, you'll see our, our skill efficiency uh, at another level. It's a six hour flight over to Perth, um, we'll pick the best team available. If that means we've got to play young kids, we've got to play young kids. Uh, they have to adapt at some stage to travel and, and used to it. Uh, we played a few of our young boys at Mackay last week, so they got the chance to fly over there and um, obviously stay the night there and uh, get a feel for what goes on with preparation when we travel. So um, it's something that um, we'll probably think about a little bit, but at the end of the day, we'll pick our best 22. And if we have to play two or three young kids, we'll play two or three young kids and, and they'll be fine.